Hey everybody, installing a trailer hitch on your Hyundai Ionic 5 can take you to some really cool places like camping, biking, and even towing a U-Haul trailer almost anywhere in North America. Let's break down this relatively difficult install. You'll need the tools seen here to complete this installation. All right, to get this install started, we're gonna use a flathead screwdriver and we've got 12 push clips underneath this fascia panel. We're gonna start over here on the driver's side and work our way all the way over to the passenger side. All right, the next step in this process is we're gonna remove four bolts out of the inner wheel well. Uh, we're gonna do that on both sides. Uh, we've got three Phillips heads and one hex head that's a 10 millimeter. So each tail light is held in by two bolts uh, right behind this cover. So we need to remove this cover and we're gonna use a small flathead screwdriver to do that. So taillight removals are always a little tricky. On this one, I found that I think if we wiggle it and give some pressure while we're pulling back, I think we can get it out pretty easily. And here on the back, we'll see the two points that make contact with the vehicle body. And you can see underneath that they attach here. All right, so we need to expose the connector that's behind the body panel. To do that, we're gonna pull the wire just slightly and we're gonna grab the grommet, pull it out, and that'll expose the connector. Now this connector is really tight here against the body panel. So I'm gonna use a, the push clip to disconnect it, making sure it doesn't fall back in. And I've got a small piece of tape ready so that I can secure it against the body panel. We're gonna repeat that process on the other side. All right, so the next step of the process is removal of three fasteners here on the bottom of the fascia. We've got a Phillips head here and two push clips. The two push clips, we'll use a flathead screwdriver, and here we're gonna use a Phillips to remove this one. All right, so now that we've got the tail lights out, we're gonna move down to the bottom of the vehicle. We've got this small fascia panel down here that we're gonna remove. You'll see two little arrows where the clips are. This thing literally just pops right out. So the instructions call for the removal of two 12 millimeter bolts from the bumper beam on the back side. These were extremely difficult to see. So if you look for the curved edges on each side, you'll see just above the electrical connector, we've got two bolts on each side of the bumper beam. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and remove those now. And then once we get the bumper fascia off, we'll show you exactly where those two bolts were uh, so that you can see them very clearly. So on the passenger side of the vehicle, we've got a large orange wiring harness that is covering our bumper beam. Um, we're gonna use a small uh, two foot pry bar. Um, we're just gonna get right in behind it and gently push it away from the body panel. Okay, so the next step in our process is gonna be to remove the bumper fascia. So we're gonna pull this complete bumper liner off and pull it off the vehicle. We're gonna start by pulling back this wheel well liner here. So we can actually reach our hand inside and we're just gonna pull gently. There's two clips here and here. And we don't wanna to pull too hard because we wanna keep it close to the vehicle. And there's also another clip up here that we don't wanna remove. Now, there's a few clips here. We've got one, two, three, all the way down this panel. It's best to start from the underside. So we can reach our hand in behind the wheel well liner and actually just give it a decent tug. And a lot of those clips are gonna pop right off. Now we've got one clip here at the top I think what we best served is if we grab something um, like a flathead screwdriver and we just give it a little bit of a push from the inside, it's gonna help that come right off. All right, so now that we released the three clips on the passenger side fascia down the side panel, we're gonna come over to the driver's side and we're gonna do the same thing on the wheel well. That way when we release the three clips from the middle of the bumper fascia, we're prepared on the driver's side to remove the bumper fascia completely. Now be careful, you also have an electrical connector right in the middle of this bumper fascia that we're gonna disconnect as we pull it. This is a great time to grab a second set of hands. This bumper is long, it's awkward, and we wanna make sure we don't drop it. So a really good point to mention, while we were removing the bumper fascia, we noticed that this bolt, which we removed earlier in the video, um, was actually securing this bumper beam bracket support here. Um, that's, that's why these 12 millimeter bolts are actually removed. 
We also noticed that the electrical connector that we need for the bumper sensors is actually located just behind this curved panel on the driver's side. So this is a cam lock connector. We're gonna go ahead and just give it a twist and it should pull right out. Now we're free to pull our fascia all the way off. All right, now that we've got our bumper fascia removed, we're gonna go ahead and remove the bumper beam right in the middle of the bumper. So this is the bottom and this is the top. We've got five fasteners that we need to remove. So we need to remove two screws from the antenna uh, that's coming out on the bumper beam. Set it aside as the hitch will replace the bumper beam. And then we'll take two uh, cable ties and attach it to the sensor cable along the back side of the fascia. Today we're going to be installing our hitch using our U-Haul exclusive hitch jack. Uh, please get an extra set of hands if you're doing this at home as this can be a little bit awkward if you don't have one. All right, now that we have our hitch in place, we're gonna attach our hardware to our three attachment points here on the back. We're gonna use an M12 19 millimeter with a flat washer. We're gonna come through the back side. We're gonna use our conical tooth gold washer. Put that on, now make sure you use the teeth towards the hitch and attach with the nut uh, to go all the way through. All right, so now that we've got our three attachment points on each side, we're gonna go ahead and come in with a 19 millimeter for the back side a 19 millimeter socket for the front, and we're gonna to torque down to manufacturer specifications. All right, now that we've got our hitch installed, we're ready to go ahead and trim the fascia. So this is the bottom side of the fascia. It calls for three and a half inches by four and three quarters. We use some tape to tape it off, and we're gonna use our air saw to go ahead and get that cut. All right, now that we've got our fascia all trimmed up, we're gonna grab our extra set of hands. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and match up the four clips here in the middle. Uh, we're gonna lift it up slowly. We don't wanna forget that we do have our electrical connector for the sensors. Um, so we're gonna lift it up, put it partially on so we can reconnect our connector. Now that we've got our fascia reattached, uh, we've gone ahead and checked our measurements around our trim level and it looks great. So we're gonna go ahead and step on over to our wheel wells. We're gonna reattach our plastic uh, wheel well liners and then reattach our fasteners inside the wheel wells. And we're gonna repeat that process on the other side. All right, now we're ready to reinstall our taillights. Don't forget, we've got one, two, and three fasteners down below. All right, now we're ready to reinstall our lower fascia panel. We're just gonna go ahead and slide in our tabs. And then we'll reinsert our push clips. All right, with our hitch installed and the vehicle pulled onto level ground, we wanted to show you some important measurements for some of your hitch accessories. This is a two inch receiver. The distance between the top of the receiver tube and level ground is 13 and a half inches. The distance between the center pinhole and the edge of the bumper is three and a half inches. This hitch sits perfectly against the edge of the bumper. These measurements will help you determine the length, rise, or drop of any receiver or accessory that you may use, such as a cargo carrier or a bike rack. If you have any questions about the product seen in this video, or if you'd like to schedule an install with a U-Haul hitch professional, Visit us online today at uhaulhitches.com.